What's poppin' less? Get everything together. Hope all is well. It's your boy Lando Success with Top Sports Debate. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. We are about to get this thing popping. Let me do some housekeeping. Top of the comments. So, yesterday we finally got a good double overtime game. So, if you ain't making no money on that game, that was wild i wish we had more bets on there i wish i did more live bets we hit a few good ones but i feel could have been a little bit better and could have made a little bit more money with it you dig jackson say i'll just fade whoever you talk up today just like i did the aaron fox yesterday hey not your fault the books have eyes everywhere Hey, nothing is wrong with that. If whatever wins, <laughs> if fading me some days <laughs> work, hey man, you gotta win however you can at this point. So I'm not, I'm not mad at anybody fading any of my plays. Marcellus, what's popping? What's popping? Boots up. What's going on? Hope all is well. So my thing I was mad about yesterday was the favors teams at home who supposed to be doing their things sucking it up and bumming it up and not covering because you look at games like we had bucks at home bucks you are at home versus the lakers without lebron james you guys are up 19 points in the fourth quarter with eight minutes to go and y'all find a way to lose. This is nothing but a Doc Rivers led team. Giannis, how you don't get 20, 30 points? I don't know. 21 rebounds, that's cute. But how you don't get 30 points? Um, missing free throws. Everybody was so livid in the chat because <laughs> he missed some last two free throws to get it. He had a chance. He missed both of them things. Oh, man. I know y'all is pissed on that one. You had. Mavericks versus the Kings. I was also upset about that one. I just needed the Kings to lose within seven points at home. They got blown the hell out and Fox got destroyed. And Luka had 26 in the first half, two points in the second. This was a robbery what they did. Everybody at halftime, nobody scored more than five points after that. Luka just got benched because he's whooping everybody. Fox scored four more points. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. So we had a lot of hooks. So some of the hooks of the day, I almost swept on our rebounds parlay. So what i probably going to do also today, I added later plays. Think about the rebound parlays. I can't add those until like right before the game. That's when they allow you to do all. And those hit like at an 80% rate for me. So I might do every game for a unit. So I might make over a grand a day just doing those. We will see how it goes. Sometimes I do have, like yesterday was half a unit. We went two for three. This the only one that didn't hit. Gafford, we needed five rebounds. He had four. And he was in foul trouble all game getting cooked by Sabonis. Even though there was one. So he barely played. Yeah, that's the only one. This one was a live bet that I end up doing. Portis, we needed two more points, and bam, one more. That would have been a good one. And look at this. Whoa, nope, nope. This one. This was my hockey play. My hockey play, everything hit, and I did a bonus on this one. I think this was like a $100 play I did. And bonus for that, for, and this game ended up going crazy. Flyers and Rangers, come on, dog. 11 goals. Like, like, really? Like, like, really? <laughs> 11 goals. Jeez, that one hurt it. And the one that hurt it the most yesterday, D'Angelo Russell. 
We just needed six threes from you, my G. You had a fourth quarter to get it. You had overtime to get it. And you had double overtime to get one more three. And he couldn't do it. Clay did it in four quarters. Giddy went nuts. Kyrie made this happen in one quarter. Bro, this is a $1,600 win off of $15. dollars one more three. Now, a lot of people made some great money because I read the comments and people was like, hey, man, I lowered these boys down and hit. So a lot of people was thanking me because they end up lowering it down. So I always remember nothing is wrong with lowering it down a little bit. And our double their day one hit. I have it available for the Patreon members only. I haven't hit the one for today. So we took $100, turned to 130 Now we're going to take 130 and turn it to 170 Giannis did his job. SGA barely did his job. Luca did it easy. Good deal. Good money. So we was hitting uh, all type of bets. Good hockey. Parlay plus 800. We be on our on our thing with the hockey. So we made some uh, made some good money. But our unit plays, the ones that just pissed me off was when it came down to favors covering and the favorites is haven't been covering lately so for all the new people that's in here if you're not a hall of fame member all you have to do is click the link that's pinned to the top of the comments go to patreon type in top sports debate or look in the description you can come sign up it's only 25 dollars give you access to all of my bets my live bets all of that good stuff we got going on d low that really hurt yeah Giannis so Family, hit that like button. We always need our likes at 50%, whatever we at. So we got 80 people in here right now. We at least need 40 likes. So we need 30 more likes. We need you guys to run it up, keep on doing your thing, and do it. Come on. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. Come on, y'all. Get them likes up. Hit that button. Hit that button so we can continue with the show lakers was cooking they came out of nowhere with that it was down 19 points didn't pose to do it showing love what crazy games last night yeah the problem with today we have so many darling my girl what up though how you been doing mrs officer how you been doing hope all is well the problem with today we have so many games where you can get confused like i don't know where to bet and you have a bunch of bets in everybody's sale so we shall see what up doe was popping was popping there you go y'all getting the likes up let's continue with the program so i'll show y'all some of the plays that i have for today let's go right here all right first one we i'm not doing any spreads today any like literally it don't matter if it's a plus 20 i'm not doing any spreads because the last few days i can't hit a spread is going to be an upset no matter whoever the favorite is or underdog we ain't messing with it. so i'm only doing over and unders as units and we're doing all over and unders we're doing the alt under with the cavalier cavalier games and the hornets i'm not going to break it down today because i don't feel like it Warriors and Magic, we are doing uh, all over 208 and a half at Bet MGM. You can get it at minus 116. That is for a full unit. Next, with the Blazers versus the Hawks. Thanks for those likes. I see them coming in nonstop. Plus 207 and a half. I like the over for that one. And this one, whoo, it's tough to fade a under on the Pacers, but i think it's too high man and we can boost it up some more minus 240 245 and a half i have no problem with the pacers scoring it's just the bulls bulls at home are, are trash bulls at home is just a fake team they can't win at home they're just not a good home team they can win at home they can upset some teams but at home i'm not messing with them Keep it going. Minus 116. Next, we have my Pistons versus Timberwolves. We got the best defense in the NBA versus the worst offense in the NBA. Yeah. Match made in heaven. I'm taking all under of 225. Timberwolves can blow them out. It's however they do it. They can just keep Detroit under 100 points. And I believe this should hit with no problems. 
Rockets and Thunder. This was a hard one, but both teams, I believe, are on a back-to-back. Is both teams? I know Thunder on a back-to-back. Dead. Um, I don't know if Rockets played yesterday, but I team on a back-to-back. I, I got to fade them, and we boosted up to 239 and a half. I like all of these. Minus one. 16 1 2 3 4 so four unit plays it's gonna be a lot of money played today it's gonna be a lot of money so here go my perfect slate every game what i believe will happen i don't trust cavaliers i just don't and they're not at home so i'm taking the hornets to cover the spread wizards i don't trust the brooklyn nets i randomly trust the wizards more than i trust them I'm taking them to cover the spread. Golden State versus Orlando Magic. Golden State have been playing good. Road game. They whooped on Miami yesterday while Miami was at home. Orlando, definitely a good team. They could win, but I'm going with Golden State because Clay went crazy yesterday and Curry did absolutely nothing. So I'm assuming today would probably be a game. Curry go crazy and Clay probably do nothing. I never know. We shall see. Y'all know Clippers definitely should win this. I just don't. Tr- I don't trust none. I don't trust no teams no more. I have trust issues, people. I have trust issues. So this is just an upset day. You can tell me. I, I, I have trust issues because regularly I would be choosing the Clippers, but I just don't trust them. So I'm going with the 76ers at home. We got Portland versus Atlanta Hawk. Atlanta Hawk at home. I don't trust them. <laughs> so you see, I really got all upsets. Then the only one I don't get an upset was New York um, Raptors. Everybody on the Raptor team is out today. So like if the Raptors win, I got, I got nothing. I got nothing. They shouldn't win, but never know with my luck. Oh, he could. Okay. See, even though they're on a back to back, Houston Rockets are a bad team away fire at home even they've been on a heater and even though okc played back to back i still like okc one in that one pacers versus bulls i never trust pacers at home so i'm taking them straight up lakers versus the grizzlies lakers play double overtime so no telling who's going to play today how many minutes they're going to play what's going to be the lineup but they play memphis grizzlies so whoever out there playing just figure it out lakers and win Timberwolves versus my Pistons. Timberwolves will win that. Um, Utah Jazz versus well, Spurs versus the Jazz. I like Jazz at home versus Spurs. Not sure if Wimby will play. We'll see. Denver at home versus the Suns. I like that. $10 gets you 22 hundo, and I round robin it by 11s for $1. So it's $12 to just in case one of these teams don't do it. You can, I usually say play it twice, one to ride, one to cash out. But I, if I was you, I would have a lot of different type of money line plays today. Wherever they're a dollar, two dollars, like you can find a few options to be able to at least make over a hundred dollars or something with these options. Now, before we get to our player props, let's see who all up in here. Make sure you guys hit that like button while we in here. Hit the like button for a player. We always got to have it at 50%. We got over 114 people in the building. So that means we needed that 60. Let's get those likes up. Clippers are trash. What you doing a lock of the day? Uh, It's not such thing as a lock of the day right now. Nothing is locking. Nothing is locking. Watch today. The spreads hit easy. I know, right? Since I went for the upsets, ever all favorites will probably win today. Yeah, no, that's how it do. So how many teams on the back to back? Let's look, cause I'm okay. All right, let me not guess and just look. Yesterday, okay. So Warriors is playing, Lakers are playing, and Thunder's are um, playing. So three teams on a back to back right now that's what we got Bobby say need a win tonight let's go Lando I love you from 
India, India in the building. What up, doe? Hope, hope y'all are enjoying yourself out in India. Haven't been out there yet. Rocking with you, my brother from Baton Rouge in the building. Baton Rouge have the best shrimp po' boy I ever had in my life. It's right across. Let's talk about this. The hotel we stayed at was at the Holiday Inn. And it's downtown Baton Rouge. It's a Holiday Inn across from there. It's like a bunch of like hole in the wall places, little bars and stuff. And it's this hole in the wall, um, po' boy or whatever place. Oh my gosh, just amazing. So every time I go there, I always eat um that shrimp po' boy. It's 10 out of 10 every time. Want to lock or go home? Hi, what up? Smash that like button. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Y'all know. MLB is in here. What about MLB? Yeah, I talked about it yesterday. I did a video where I'm not going to do any MLB real plays, but I will look at some MLB things today, like future plays and some fun stuff. So nothing serious, like $10 MLB plays. We will probably do those after I do this video. So let's get back to it and keep it popping. So... Next, this is like I did like a prize picks game um, play. This is my prize picks play. 1872. We have five legs. I don't know if you can actually do a double double. We probably can with prize picks. I ain't did in a while. Kyle Kuzma, first, we're doing his points over. Kyle Kuzma, what I realized with him, whenever you have a bad game, he usually follow up with a good game. Less than games, he went over that. But you go even further back, usually. When he have a 14-point game, he follow with a 27. 20-point game, follow with 32. So he usually bounced back good. Only thing I don't like is his head-to-head versus the Nets. It's not good. Not good. I don't know if it's matchup or I don't know what it is. But we shall see. Might be matchup. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, but I like it. Trey Mann, over 1-3. There's been money every single game. <laughs> the last 10 games he did this. Not the best shooter, not whatever it is, but he's very efficient. If he's going to shoot a three, he's probably going to make it. So as long as he shoots two threes, he'll make one of the two. So this has been a good bet to consistently bet on. Clint Capella, double-double. We know he can do that. SGA under. This is so wild that I've been fading SGA and it's actually working. SGA last five games he haven't been he just don't shoot in the first quarter for some reason i like it, it's so bad because i don't want to put anything out with these players but with my man and tech whatever team he played for that just got caught sports betting and fading himself it makes you wonder is these players fading themselves because like sga they even lowered it because his first quarter points was higher because remember he averaged playing the whole quarter every game besides last game i'm assuming he probably got in foul trouble but he played a whole quarter and it was like 11 and a half or 10 and a half and it was 100 percent the hit rate remember we did the other day so he lowered it down i don't know is he actively just fading this i like i, I don't i don't trust these players like i'll rock with sga but lately I don't know who this who this man has been. That SGA we know is consistently getting about close to 30. I don't know if he injured or what it is. Like he's he he's he's not injured because he's just not being aggressive. It's weird. So SGA, don't shoot in the first quarter. Why don't you? Bradley Beal, I like his assists over. He's been doing that consistently, been looking good. Look at that. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Seven games straight. He have gotten over six assists. I like it. Good play going against Denver. I don't know what his head to head is. Six. He did it once. Um, Was it this month? This month. 100% hit rate right there. So if y'all got any plays y'all want me to look at, we can look at them things. All right, so here goes some next one. So I round robin it like this, and I did it on DraftKings. So it looks like this, and I did dollar, 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 
and whatever I think five dollars to make it thirty dollars to be a thirty dollar play to win two forty six if everybody hit everybody do their job. Next up, Dejounte Murray plus three eighty. 12 assists. He's been consistently getting assists like crazy, been assist machine. You could actually a player prop. I like his his rebounds and assists are always good money. So you can think of that if you like it. But 12 assists. Trey Mann, six assists we did last game. He got it. Paul George, we're gonna do 25 points. He's been scoring a lot lately. And Andrew Wiggins, I think this good value at six rebounds. Four plus two hundred dollar dollar five dollars fifteen dollars get you seven thirty one. Denny ten rebounds. Devin Booker six rebounds. Gary Trent Jr. four rebounds. Jalen Green six trees. Reason I like Jalen Green six trees. I've been betting on him every game and been winning consistently. So I could just make him a official prop, but I don't want to jinx him because he's been. Balling, but look at his threes. Like it's just I, I I love like simple stuff like this. Four threes, seven threes, four threes, seven threes, four threes. How many threes you gonna think you're gonna get today? <laughs> like I, I don't I don't understand it, but I was like, that's the reason I bet on him last game. I'm like, ah, he's due for four threes, so today he's due for seven threes. But just in case he don't get seven threes, get six. That'd be cool with me. Plus six hundred. Good money right there. Dollar, dollar, five dollars, fifteen dollars. Get you seven fifty one. And I don't know how to say his name, but we're going with six rebounds. Paul George, four trees. John Collins, two threes. And we're doing Tyrese Hollyburton, three steals. Dollar, dollar, five dollars, fifteen dollars. Get you six sixty two. Steph Curry, every game, y'all know I'm going to max out his threes because he is Steph Curry. But they didn't let us do eight today, so we are doing seven of them things for plus 480. Dante, six threes. Michael Porter Jr., four. And Corey Crispert, three of them things. Dollar, dollar, five dollars. Fifteen gets you 670. And we have some $5 YOLO plays. Andrew Wiggins, three threes. Dennis Schroeder, four. Kawhi, four. Five dollars gets you 16. Hundo, Grady Dick. Four threes, Dylan Brooks, four of them things, and Anthony Edwards, five threes. Now, always remember, rule of thumb, whenever Detroit play, this is a secret for you guys. Whenever Detroit play, somebody on an opposing team will have a historic game against my team. It's damn near at an 80% hit rate. Ten games, somebody going to have a historic game. So it's up to you. To find out who's going to have that historic game. Y'all think I'm not like literally look at every single Detroit game. Everybody have their career highs against my team. So it, it's just I don't get it. We're just that bad. We're the worst team in the NBA. We've been the worst team in basketball for a lot of years, a long time. But let's just look at their last game. Who did they play last game? I don't even know. I'm just doing this off freestyle. Let's see. Shit. That's a lot of. Was this the last game? No, that's the first game. What was the last? Jeez. Okay. I feel I shouldn't have to do all of this to see this. They played New York last game. Let's look at somebody on New York. Oh, that was Dante. Dante um, um, DenVincenzo. (laughs) DenVincenzo. All right. He had 11 threes. Lady, 40 points. Ladies and gents, I'm certain he probably haven't had 40 points in his career. I'm probably certain he haven't had 11 threes in his career. Against Detroit? Historic. Oh, Hart. Welcome to Mr. Triple. Well, what was that? Triple double? Yep, Mr. Triple double. So if you just look at Detroit games, that's just how it is. My team is very, very bad. And you just go to any, any, that's just how it is. So that's a random rule of thumb. So you look at crazy stats or crazy things. You just got to find out what player will have that historic game. That's how I go. $5 for 19 hundo. There we go. Turn the music down. Turn me up. 
LeBron James, four trees. Victor Wembanyama, four trees. Jamal Murray, four trees. Five dollars get you a thou. Wow. Those are our plays. We will have more, ladies and gents, players and pimps, because this is. I'm about to let y'all know what I'm probably going to do. First, we have to read some comments and we gotta get these likes up. We got 156 people in here, so that means we need 80 likes, y'all. And we have 44. Y'all want me to continue this video, and I will answer y'all questions, do y'all bets, do y'all research. All a mofo asks for is for y'all in words to hit the damn like button. That's it. It's not that hard. Like, just you watching on your damn phone. Hit the button because for me that helped pro promote this video out to more people where i get more views i get more subscribers i'm more motivated to wake up and keep on doing this s-h-i-t jesus what the hell is wrong with you people what do you think about clipper no spreads i don't like any spreads today no spreads i'm like over eight with spreads last few days so you don't want my opinion about spreads. I tell y'all what I like, and y'all can fade it. Do that. Nas Reed, three threes is a good look. Yes, yes, I always forget about Nas Reed. So I will add Nas Reed to a play. Let's do one live. Let's do one live. Well, let's first see if I can log into my FanDuel. Live. Do, 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 do. Come on. Uh, it's not giving me my... Okay, I already have a FanDuel. There we go. Come on. No, they just sent me... Ooh, that text message verification pop up on my... There we go. Popped up on my iWatch, Apple Watch. Boom. Zero. I hate when you try not to let people see or whatever it is, and I say it out loud. <laughs> Put in the code 89001. <laughs> Come on, log me in, FanDuel. We can do a live play because what happens is my mind is all over the place, and I do so much bets and so much other things. Like once I finish with this, we do MLB. Everything I talk about here, I would damn near forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Okay. My DraftKings is not working. I mean, my fan do So we will not be doing any live bets on here because, yeah, I'm used to doing it from my phone. Doing it from the computer, don't find your location, and it's not that easy. What do you think about Chero? Over on points. Let's look it up. If we get five more likes, five more likes, I will look it up and start answering y'all questions. Five more likes. Let's get it. Five more of them teens. That's one. I just seen one. Come on. We need a FOMO. And I will look up. Venture, let's pull. Oh, I'm not going to pull them up till we get them. Come on. Other questions. Shay is out. That's not good. I believe it's a bleak injury. SGA out tonight. Got to do Levert assist. Been cashing a lot lately. We can look at that. We need three more likes. We're at 62. We got to keep him going. He's dealing with injury right now. Okay, so people did say Shay is out. So, okay, that makes sense because I'm like, what is going on? He haven't been on his thing. Fade and shape first quarter is definitely good play. Yeah. What's your best bet for NBA? Yep. All right. We got the likes. Now we can look at what did somebody ask me to look at? Banchero. Or however you say his name. Yeah, Banchero. All right. Let's check it out. And you said you want to see his. Oh, not Aaron Gordon. Did you say his points? All right. I believe you said his points. Points today. First thing first, we're looking at who he's playing against, right? 
and he is playing against Golden State Warriors. So first, I'm looking at how in the last five games against the Golden State Warriors, three games, he had 22, 25, and 27. So he get better against them each time. You have to look when he played. This wasn't this year. This wasn't this year. This was this year. So first time this year, he scored 27 points. Next, you got to look at the injuries. Who is playing? Who's not playing? Who? Okay. Gary Harris is out. So, okay. All right. Gary Gary Harris. And you're looking at his last few games. Last few games. And what is this over? Is that 22 and a half? He got hooked at 22 last game. Game before 20, 20 even, 13. Uh, so next, I because I don't like anything I see to make me jump on it yet. So then I would do home games. Let's see if I get any better numbers. No numbers get even better because they've been playing at home lately. Uh, so I don't like it. Last thing, let's try take away home games. And let's see games without... Gary Harris. See if we can get something there. Look at that. We are we got something. We got action, right? Games without Gary Harris, he tend to score more. Look at that. So, since Gary Harris not playing, that's is that is why I use Outlier and I like them. And if you guys don't have Outlier, you just click the link at the pin top of the comment or in my description. You sign up, you get to try it out week free from your boy. I believe my link is like outlier. I'm not even going to tell y'all the wrong thing. It's slash land or something. But it's technically not a bad bet. It's technically a good bet. What I will personally do, if I was you, if I wanted to do it, I would just lower down his 22 and a half because he will get you on a hook to 21 and a half. Take less money. And bam, you had 100% hit rate last five games without Gary Harris playing. That is why, that's how you do it. And that is how I make the big bucks. With all of that research that I do every single day. Lando, I leveled up my craft. Should in um in a Patreon with fire, you know it, baby. No Nas Sir 3. Yes, he's out. I F with your bro. Let's win. You know it. I don't understand y'all watching. Don't hit. The- I don't understand even. Because it, it's free to like. I ain't even say everybody go sign up for the Patreon right now. Yeah, you don't, you don't gotta do that. All I'm asking right now is get the damn like button. Y'all been doing, y'all been doing better. Siakam, 20 points. Holly Burton, 10 assists. Nate Smith over three rebounds is a lock. I absolutely like that without having to look at it. That is a great play. I like it. Salute my G. Murray over on points. Now, like I said before, I like Murray on rebounds and assists. Points without without um tray plan can be iffy so let's look at last five games right because he can drop 29 28 or he can go under 20 drop 13 that's not consistent enough for me I, I don't i don't like it now if we go to his what i say rebounds and assists where are you at rebounds and assists look at that last five games people not rocket science love his rebounds and assists this would be a play that i would like so this time i'll actually add to my slip so this one what other play that i said i want to add y'all said Nas read let's look at stop that mass they don't have read on here today where is he at? Oh, well, I guess he is not available for a prop just yet. So 
We will see. But that is how I would do Murray. Let's stroll up and read some more comments. Y'all better be hitting that likes. Let's see. Okay, we three away from 80. We need three more likes. And we can continue it on Murray assists. We doing I would do Murray re, um, rebounds and assists together. Also, are you familiar with the Owen two point bet? No, I am not familiar with that. Never heard that. The legend is back for threes. Clay, mama call him Clay. I'ma call him Clay. And that man been doing his thing the last few games. He took our money one play, but gave us money another. So ain't gonna get mad at that at all. All right, y'all got some more plays. Y'all want? Uh oh, we won away from eighty. We won away from 80. Jaren Jackson ruined last night, but they got his assist at two and a half. Yeah, I was going to – I looked at Jaren Jackson. Jaren, he just pissed me off so much last game. I just left him alone. So, he probably have some good odds to play with him, but he he did me too bad last game. And I realized betting on teams, like player props, where teams are going to possibly get blown out, it's just not smart. Like, that was not a smart bet from me. As I look at it, betting on Jaron Jackson against Denver in Denver because all signs lead to they're going to get blown out and he's going to get benched, even though he didn't get benched to five minutes left in the game. So he still should have hit. It technically wasn't a good bet. We have 80 likes and somebody just gave me, we got one dislike. What? What? I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. What is going on here? What is wrong? What is wrong with you? Did your mama drop you on your head? Why did somebody gave me a dislike? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the person that didn't give me, um, give me a like. Where my squeaky voice at? I don't want my, I don't want that. Orlando, I've been telling you for the last few weeks, and I'm fading all of your plays because you're just losing too many people money, and even though you're up 40 units, I still, I just don't like it. Um, you guys should come to my Instagram and follow me, and I will give y'all all the pics. <laughs> That's how they be. Oh, my God. I I was reading some messages yesterday because on my Instagram, I'm trying to put more sports on there, but I just like to be a regular person on Instagram. And I was reading some of my inboxes yesterday. and Somebody was messaging me. Let me see if I can pull it up on here. <laughs> and my thing is, I hate, don't talk smack on Instagram and what you call it? Okay. And uh, and have a fake name. Okay, I'm not about to mess with anything because I feel like I'm going to mess something up if I click it. But let me see. Okay, I want. I still want to try. I want y'all to see the type of messages I get. Let me at least try. Come on, pull up, pull up, pull up. Because you know, like when people that's not your friend, it shows up. And like a sunken place. So I have to go and like find some of these. Okay, I found them. I found them. <laughs> this, this is the messages I get. So this is from Malachi Strong. Whoever that is probably got a fake name. You not beating nobody with fat out of bets. No, they are just better than you. You should sign up and get your money right. Legal licks killing you. He made 40K in six days. All of his clients ate, too, based on their unit size. You clearly out of the loop, my boy. <laughs> you only get paid off your subscribers. For Manny, how you know is 90 bets. You just assuming point blank they are real gamblers. You're not. They risk thousands. You risk fat dollars. Huge difference. <laughs> Cause 
I don't ever like go and check my inbox. I checked yesterday. I was just laughing like, oh man. Okay. All right. Let me get back to um, reading the comments. I'm sorry. Let's get some music. No, I don't want to take that music. <laughs> oh man. It's hard out here for a pimp, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at Mar Marvin Bagley over points and rebounds. What you think? Let's check it out. I don't like Bagley, to be honest. I ain't a big Bagley fan too much. Because first, the team he played for. Now, what did you say? Was it points and rebounds? Let me go back. Did he say points and rebounds? Yep, points and rebounds. All right, by looking at his ooh, points, rebounds, and assists, baby, look at that. But first, let's go to points and rebounds. Points and rebounds. Last 10 games, he hit at a 100% rate. So they have it at 15. He hit that last five games, last 10 games. So first, what I'm looking for, even though... This is a 100% hit rate last 10 games. This is a good bet looking at it, right? First, you don't want to get tricked. How you don't get tricked, you look at who they're playing. Ah, He's going against Brooklyn. You'll want to see his head-to-head, -head, but I guess since he's been over here, you don't have enough stats. I want to see who who's matchup and how he'll play against them. I'm looking at how close he got on a hook. So 14, so I'm looking at like 15-ish. 15 once, 15 twice. So he really went real far over it so i like that next thing i'm looking at if he played at home or away and this is at home so i'm assuming he played better at home this one he probably whatever i don't know what that situation was he probably didn't play a lot and the last thing that you don't see is files since i know bagley big as hell them big players be getting fouls. Can I look at fouls on outlier? Because I never really look at fouls on here. There we go. Fouls. Okay. I'm looking at two, 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 two. his fouls last few games. Zero fouls. Did he play? Okay. Let's see. This is beautiful. He's not getting in foul troubles. Last 10 games. He haven't got over five fouls, um, four fouls. This is a great bet, and they're playing against bumps. So this is another one. Now the this, the question is: Would you do re points and rebounds, or would you do points, rebounds, and assists? So looking at this, his points, rebounds, and assists over is at hold on fifteen and a half. I was no way in hell I wouldn't do the points, rebounds, and assists because since he don't get assists, they only boost it up once. Yeah, I would do points, rebounds, and assists. Even though he don't get them, he might get lucky today. That's something I will probably add. So this is another bet I will add. We should have two. I thought I added. What was it? Okay, let's do. Was it why it's not available? Is it available on? So right now, it's only available on Caesars and Jim, and I did Murray. I thought I had Murray at it. Where are you, Murray? Because this is a parlay that I'm probably actually going to do after I get off here once I remember. Why? Um, okay, back, we got you. M-U-R-R. Shante Murray, there you go. And with him, we did do, 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 do. rebounds and assists added. Okay, I must have just didn't add them. So right now, I got these two I can do on Caesars or Bet MGM. So as I'm talking to you guys, we're like, y'all giving me different bets that you like. I'm looking at them and doing the research like, oh, I didn't even look at him today. That's a very smart bet. So thank you, Frank, for that. Let's read some more comments no problem james harden over eight assists we'll look at that 
Let's take five people for 30 points. That's a good one. We can do that. We can do that. I like that. Um, Good day, my sir. Let them haters keep hating, baby. You know, appreciate you, Kevin. You don't even <laughs> you don't even do five dollar plays for real. Uh, like literally, I did three five dollar plays today, and it was for Hail Marys. Cause I'm not about to bet a hundred dollars on those plays. <laughs> like, okay, it was crazy, man. People were crazy. Internet gangsters, they in here. You know it. <laughs> Do I like Curry over? I want to do that 30 point boy. The problem is I don't want to reset my outlier yet. Um, he averages double double against Detroit. Who does? KD props. What do you think about Suns? We can look at the games. Since a lot of people ask me what I think about these games. Good luck. Like my man said at the beginning, he like, hey man, I'm fading all Orlando um, stuff right now. If when it comes down to money line and the spreads, oh my gosh. So automatically looking at this, I like the calves. Actually, I'm gonna look at this on outlier because this will be easier to see some things. All right. First game, we got Cleveland versus Charlotte Hornets. Cleveland is the favorite to win by 10 plus. So it's supposed to be a blog game. Main thing I'm looking at is injuries. Who's playing? Mitchell is out. Strews game time decision. So I'm just going to say he's out. And, uh, you know, you got Charlotte Hornets been doing their thing. So really, I'm looking at. Let's say if we had them for the because I picked Charlotte Hornets to cover the spread just by not even doing any research because Cleveland covering the spread, I just don't like it, right? So if we went to Charlotte Hornets to cover the spread, technically, technically is not a good bet. If you look at their last few games, they haven't covered a 10 and a half spread and one, two, three, four, five games. And you look at Cleveland Cavaliers, they have covered a 10 and a half spread one out of their last two, three, four, five, six games. One of their last six games. So it really come down to who you have trust in more. I don't like Cleveland right now. They've been losing me a lot of money. Common sense is to bet on Cleveland. And I would just adjust the spread to not be 10 and a half to be like five, four, and parlay it with something else like that. That's what I've been doing but they just still been getting blown the hell out. Golden State versus um, Orlando. Orlando, who's been hotter? Let's see. Who's been hot? Y'all follow me on Twitter at T Sports Debate. If you're not over there already, what are you waiting for? Go follow a player on Twitter. Okay, last five games, Warriors won two out of three magic is four out of five last one they lost at home against the um, kings by two so magics have been a hotter team right now so it will be smart to bet on the orlando magic but what's been smart haven't been working for me so i like golden state to cover the spread because you had Curry having a bad game yesterday. I think he scored, what, 19 points? I think he scored under under 20. I doubt if that happened again. Let's look at every time Curry scored under 20. How do he usually follow up? Curry. Doo, 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 doo. Yesterday, he had 17. So, we had 14 points. Then he scored 25. 15. Then he scored 31. Four. Then he scored 29. So Curry usually don't have two back-to-back low-scoring games. So I will be looking at his threes. Like, that's why I always take his threes. After those bad games, you really just see how many threes he probably hit and how it goes. So it take all day to evaluate every single game. But we got, oh, we 13 likes away from a hundo. If you are new here, hit that like button. Let's get 13 more to get to 100 
if you're not a Hall of Famer, they give you access to every single one of my plays, Greg. And I need to get off here so I can look at some MLB plays. So, um, yeah, $25 give you access to that. It give you access to our community chat where we've been fooling the last, especially yesterday with those double OT games. What well, game? We was having some fun in there. Come check us out and see what we're working with. And if you don't have an outlier, come check them out. Week for free on your boy. Steph going to cook. Curry versus Magics. Magics is slept on. Yeah, Magics is cold. They've been doing their thing. But whenever I bet on the Magics, they lose. When I bet against them, they win. So that's how it go. Jared Allen is my go-to for Cleveland. Yeah, he's been on Orlando, has been solid. If Bucks and Lakers didn't go to OT, I would have hit the under easily. Yeah, definitely. That was low, low um, scoring. One $5 parlay, 30 points. Who we picking? Okay, everybody want the $5 30-point parlay. Let me, give me a second because I want to submit. Patreon members, just remind me. That's what I need y'all to remind me with. Because y'all know I'm going to forget. So in the NBA chat class, remind me to do Marvin Bagley, points, rebounds, and assists, and DeJounte Murray, rebounds, and assists. Remind me to do that, y'all. D, if you in here watching, I know you would definitely remind me. Be on it. So y'all want 30 points? I'm about to give y'all 30 points. And we starting with Curry. <laughs> Why not? Why not? He did it twice in the last 10 games. He's playing Orlando Magic. Let's see what's his thing against Orlando Magic. Bam. Against Orlando Magic, last two times they played, he had 39 points against them and 36 points against them the last two times. So, ladies and gents, we could go 35, but no, we're just going to go 30. Okay, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? What's these? I don't want that one. I ain't hit that one in a while. Where is this? We do 30 points, and we're adding it to the slip. So that's the first one. Next, let's look at the games. Cleveland, since they supposed to beat them, and let's say they whoop on them, Garland, how many times when last time you had 30 points? Or Sherry Allen would be like a million, a million, million, million. So let's look at Garland. Even though Garland pissed us off the other day. Garland. Let's see. Two, 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 two points. Last 10 games. He had 230 points. He'd been bumming it up enough. I wouldn't do it on him. Let's look at Jerry Allen. Allen. Once. Let's go for it. Jerry Allen would be crazy odds. Ah, so uh, okay. Let's go for 25. Since we can't do 30, we're going 25. With Jerry Allen, we might take it out, but for right now, since who they're playing, they supposed to blow them out easily. Let's roll with that. Washington Wizards, who can score 30 points? Can Kuzma score 30? Um, I don't, I don't like it. Me no likey. Uh, Atlanta, can Murray score 30? Could, but I don't like it. Anybody on Portland? I don't like that either. Clippers and okay, we got Maxi. I trust Maxi to drop thirty against the Clippers because we know the Clippers will give up a lead. They will take a big lead. It's all type of ways. So let's see, Maxi, thirty of them things. Look at that. He hit it one, two, three, four times in the last ten games and twenty nine. Last game, Max, you're due for like a 40-point game, to be honest, my brother. And that's good odds right there. We're adding that. And y'all be wondering, Lando, how do you be doing this stuff? I just got, I just got a crazy brain that do this for a living. So 
is okay. New York. Dante is off a 40 point game against my Pistons. Let's first look at Dante consistency after he has a crazy scoring game. Let's do that. Stop that, Aaron Gordon. Why you keep popping up? I think I must need to do an Aaron Gordon prop because he keep popping up. All right, Dante, last 20 games. When you had a 30-point game, you followed up with a 36-point game. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Then you had a 30-point Shit, we supposed to have been on this. We supposed to have been on this. He already showed after a 30-point game, he go even higher, and it was against Detroit Pistons, so it's no way in hell we should have took him at 25, 30, 35, and 40 if they allowed it. That's how you're supposed to do those. Now, after that second game, he go all the way down. So this is a fate Dante game. He's going to have around 14 points. Jeez, I wish I seen that. So the charts tell you everything a lot of times. Brunson, let's see. Brunson, 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 where you at, dog? Brunson, okay, yeah. We could do Brunson 30. Shit, I like 40, 35. But we'd be we'd be calm. We'd be calm and just do for a nice, a nice 30, not 31. 30 is plus money. Uh, UPP on a potty? He ain't pee yet? Omar, you need to pee pee on that potty. Potty trading, um, potty training vibes. He had one accident today, and it didn't go too good. So he's probably a little scared to PB right now, but he's going to figure it out. All right, where I'm at, Clippers game, we did that. We did New York game. You definitely have to do Pistons. Somebody's dropping 30 on my Pistons. The question is who? That is the question. Ah, so this is how, okay. Player props within this game. No, most points. K. Every time I bet on K, K don't play. So I don't know what about. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do this. We're going to click props, but we're going to click the Detroit game because anybody can drop 30 on them against. Okay, where is the Minnesota and Pistons? Dang, my vision is not that good to be doing this. That's not it. Where is it? Shit. There you go. All right. We're going to just do points. So this is the nerd stuff that you guys get to see the behind the scenes. Y'all ask for this, so y'all get it. And I want points on that Detroit game. I thought I just had it. There we go. And then we want over points. Bam. All right. Mike Conley, you're not dropping 30 points. Anthony, Anthony Edwards, every time I bet on him, he bum it up. So I don't like Anthony Edwards. I think he's overrated if you ask me. Against Detroit, he had 30-point game, 20-point game, 27. I don't I don't like Anthony Edwards, so I'm not even going to bet on him. Rudy Gobert, let's see. How do you do against my Detroit? 9, 16, 19, historic. Let's go 25. Rudy against um Duran if Duran play, which he ain't been playing. Anybody else score on their team? Where's the rest of their players? Who are why anybody? People must be injured. Let's see. Who are injured this game? Mm -mm. What game I'm looking for? What game? Detroit game. Let's see. Injuries. We got Anthony Edwards, game time decision. Rudy Gobert, game time. You got too many game time decisions. So I got even a better idea. Let's see. Do they have any props out for this yet? I'm about to show y'all something. Come on. Michigan. Okay. Let me try to. Do some hold on. Give me one second, y'all. I don't want to log in. FanDuel, just let me see the damn sports without logging in. Bam. Okay, we got it. Figured it out. 
So what I'm doing right now is going to that game and seeing because it looked like they don't have a lot of props out for it. Yeah. So this is a problem. They only got four players. Jaden McDaniels. Let's look at Jaden McDaniels. Is somebody going to have a historic? Oh, um, I just continue without IG. I just reached my streaming limit with IG. I didn't know I, Instagram had it. So for my Instagram people that's watching, I'm sorry. We are we're done. Our time has been, let's see, Jaden McDaniels. So what I'm doing right now is being very picky because somebody's going to have a historic game against Detroit. I'm just trying to figure out who. Okay, McDaniels had 20. We're going Daniels 20 points. That's how we're going to just do it instead of me wasting all you good people time with this. So we are going McDaniels. We are going to push your junk all the way up to 24 7 50 historic game against my Pistons. Jeez, that was a lot to do for one game. But y'all wonder how I come up with all this stuff. Give me some music. All right, Pacers. Yeah, you know, Pacers don't have defense, but I don't trust Chicago at home. I will leave this game alone. I don't trust it. Lakers against Memphis. I don't trust it because they're on the back-to-back. -back. Houston is on the back-to-back, -back, and I don't trust Houston away. Uh, this one in Denver, I don't know. Let's see what's our odds right now. What's our odds right now? Can we get all five of them? Bam. Five of them on FanDuel. <laughs> Look at these odds, y'all. Plus 90,000. So $5 gets you 45 hundo. Yes, you can walk. So this is what I will recommend you guys. Do this like right this. Do this for a dollar. So you do this play right here for $1. Then you lower Curry 30 points down to 25. Jaron at Jared Allen, 25 down to 20. Maxi, 30 down to 25. Brunson, 25, 30 down to 25. And McDaniels, 20 down to 15. And you do that for $5. And then you do it one more time and you can do that for $10 or whatever it is. Try to make your money back. So these are the players I would say do that with. So if they hit, you guys owe me the like button. We are three likes away from 100. Do that so we can get up out of here. Give him a minute, champ. I trust Omar more than I trust Maxi or Garland. <laughs> hey, you right. They don't have no props for Nas Reed yet. Maxi borderline banned me. Y'all ain't feeling Maxi. Y'all ain't feeling Maxi. What's good, my dog? What's good? I hope you figured out the Patreon situation. Last game, Maxi had 20 points in the first quarter. Rest of the game, he had nine. Um, can you do a Josh Hart on rebounds? Whenever I bet on his rebounds, he'd be playing with a player. Maxi for 25. Do, 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 do. two more likes and we're close to 200 people oh we just hit 100 likes in here we got 191 people in the building i appreciate every single one of you guys only two nhl games might be decent night if no upsets um yeah i go hard on, on those two games because yesterday we had some good money plays so yeah i do that but yeah, we um had a good one, man. We need six more people in here to get to 200 people live. That would be freaking dope, man. But I appreciate every single one of you guys in. Wait, okay. Oh, since I get y'all in here, since I get y'all in here, I want y'all to understand what I'm going to do today so we can be on the same page. I want y'all to listen to me and listen to me carefully. I'm going to add a unit place because what's happening Props been hard. Money line bets have been hard. So the most consistent bet hit for me is my rebounds only for the new people. Closer to game time, 
what happens is I do. So, for example, let's see who's the first game that's playing today. We have the Cavaliers playing at 7 p.m. So probably at 6 p.m. they will release all the alt rebounds and know who all playing. I would do rebounds only. Class, this is how it will look. So you won't be confused. Let's go to one that hit yesterday. Uh, rebounds only. This is a plus 100. I'm going to do it where you can double your money. Yesterday, I did have you. I did every single one of these $50. Today, I might do more. It depends on how much I bet on other stuff. But look at this. We did... I calculate this. It takes me like 30, like a, a good long time to do these. But these are very accurate. Look at this. And that's double OT. So everybody smash past that with no problem. I'm going to probably aim to do one of these every game if I can. I know it won't allow me because some players, they just won't give it to me early. And look at that. Plus 102. No problem. Hit. This hit probably before you see the game was over with. They already paid us. So that hit close about halftime. The only one that I didn't hit that messed up our suite was, um, what's his name? Gafford. Gafford needed five rebounds, and he ended up having four. And that's because he was in foul trouble like crazy all game. That's the only one I didn't hit, and I parlayed them all together too. So that's the only one. So those plays will come out later. So what you have to do, you have to go and be a subscriber to my Patreon. You don't have to be on the paid version. You just have to be a subscriber because I give out all of those bets for free to the world, Craig. So make sure y'all see those because it's going to be wild. No sweat for MLB tomorrow. Ooh, they're trying to force me to bet over there. Man, 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 man. Okay. Let me start working on MLB. We got 200 people in here. Appreciate all you guys. Let's make some shit money.